everyone welcome back to another educational vlog so as i said in the cappadocia educational vlog we are going to be learning about the acropolis so what is it at uh, the acropolis Jaden, and which which uh, country it belongs um so the acropolis belongs to greece and greece is in europe great mm -hmm. okay so i was just gonna tell you i get my references from this book the great the wonders the world's great wonders how they were and how they are amazing and the category is still about the man-made wonders of the world so i will start off about some facts of it so i'll just read one paragraph from it and mm. then i am going to say all the facts on what it what on what's inside the Acropolis? By the way, it's a pretty old landmark. So there you go. I'm going to read from here now. Built as a temple to honor the goddess Athena and completed in the 432 BC, the Parathenon embodies everything ancient Greek ideology stood for while its magnificent architecture has been the inspiration for iconic buildings the world over from the white house to the bank of england so i'm just going to show you a picture of the acropolis so this is the picture another picture or the layout and there's another one here there you go the acropolis is on and Athens is one of the most oldest cities in the world. Mm. So this landmark is a pretty iconic landmark, which, yeah, is the Acropolis. And Acropolis has a Parathenon. So I'm just going to tell you what have I learned and what are the structures there. So there is a statue of Athena. So this statue is a nine high statue which which is still stood in the acropolis the great greek acropolis and is still visible to see most people go more than one million people go there every year so just make sure to be careful of the crowd so this has been started created in the 500 bc slash 400 bc so i'm just going to say something the Eretz. i'm just going to check the pronouncing of this word and i think it's a threat union so as the Athenian was the last building to be created in the Acropolis. It has been created in the 406 BC and it's one of the most largest buildings in the Acropolis. Now, sadly, the Acropolis has been abused by bad weather, such as thunder, rain and other stuff. But, but happily, we can still see it and not everything is destroyed. So looking at this picture right here, I have told you that it was destroyed by the look of this. It's this picture right here. There is another building. And by the way, this the Acropolis is related to the Greek gods. As I told you, the statue of Athena and Poseidon. I made a slideshow of Poseidon before, so I gladly remember him. And Athena. I also remember her. I learned about her in year four. I'm just in year five right now. So it was not really a long time. So Athena is the main one that has been remembered in the Acropolis since there is more about her. And this is the temple of the Athena Nike. So it's a pretty small building that has been finished, cre being created or built in the 426 BC. And that is not the last building to be created. As I told you, it's the other Ethrachnion, in which was created in the 400 BC. Now, Athena has a sacred olive tree. And do you know what it symbolizes? That symbolizes to produce, says, victory against Poseidon. They were pretty against enemies, but they were both Greek gods. So yeah, even there was a small building of Poseidon that I have already said, and I'm going to show you that. No, I'm not going to show you that. I'm going to tell you what it is like. So although Poseidon didn't win patronage, in his, 
there was a temple about him in the Acropolis, and he, he worshipped himself there in the northern side on the Ethrecnion. So I'm going to just show you the layout on what it looks like, because it's not that large. It's next to the Ethrecnion. If you see, it's over here. This is the small building, and then this is the Ethrecnion. So I'm going to tell you the Parathenon. The Parathenon is the largest building in the Acropolis. It's more larger than the Ares, Ethrecnion, the Athena statue, and the Poseidon temple on the northern side of the Ethrecnion. So I'm just going to, and by the way, democracy originates from ancient Greece. I'm just going to tell you all the 12 buildings that are in the Acropolis. So number one is the Parathenon. This was constructed in the 432 BCs. The Parathenon towers were over the Acropolis. Number two, the Erechtheion. The Erechtheion was the last public building erected on the Acropolis. It's been created in the 406 BC. And then I told you about the Athena's olive tree. It was said to be the sacred tree that Athena produced the sized fig tree because of Poseidon. And then this is the temple of Poseidon that I have already told you happened. Although he didn't win patronage, what I have already told you, of the city, Poseidon was worshipped in his own temple, the northern side of the Erection. And the Papalia, completed in 432 BC. The Papalia was formed to the entrance to the Acropolis and was built in the line with the Parathenon. So number six that I have told you is the Propalia. The Propalia is where you go through the entrance. It, it is a pretty old building and it's not the last building to be built or the first building to be built. So there are just other extra ones without any information. So I'm just going to tell you one. The Sanctuary of Pandion, the Sanctuary of Zeus Polius, Areporion and Chalcotheki. So yeah, there are not a lot of nature there and there are a bunch of structures that were not named a lot at the time. But now since they are recognised, they are now well known. But, I mean, I don't know well now, but at least I'm getting to know it since this is, gonna be, this is my lesson for today. As I've already told you, democracy originates from Greece. And Athens is is more older than the Acropolis because the Acropolis was built on top of on Athens on very high land and you and you can't see Athens from the ground at least if you're going to go upstairs or something or then you're just going to look so Acropolis is uh, Acropolis's entrance is very large it has a lot of space and mainly sometimes it's respectful to be quiet. Now this, not landmark, this man-made wonder is crowded full of temples and altars. Although sometimes at those times they didn't believe in Christianity or Catholic. I don't know if cath Catholicism is a word, but I think yeah, Catholicism, that... Catholicism, yes. Catholicism. Right. Yes. Oh, now I just learnt another word. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm just going to tell you one of the most important buildings, the Themistocles Wall. The Themistocles Wall in 524 to 459 BC. The walls were incorporated elements on the acrylic temples on the site of the Acropolis. So I'm just going to tell you one that I haven't told you yet. The Temple of the Athena Nike. So the Temple of the Athena Nike is a temple, as I told you, it the Acropolis is crowded of temples and altars mainly temples since i told you about the the temple of poseidon as well <clears throat> so it was finished in the 426 bcs and the landmark is very iconic for other peoples mm -hmm. to learn about gladly my dad's interested since he <laughs> never knows and my mum as well <clears throat> so yeah most major lions fly 
into Athens. And it is not that far away. It is accessible, such as Stonehenge, Wafina Cave, and you know, the Pyramid of Giza. Now, it is open to every single one of you. But sometimes, since there are restrictions from COVID, such as example COVID, sometimes some, it's not available to go there. So I would say it's not accessible all the time. For now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Maybe for now. So yeah, it is not semi-electrical. They have just used perpetual lines that were straight to build the buildings. So yeah, they were very rusty at that time. Yeah, as I said, it was abused by the weather. I am really sorry to hear that since Elan, this is the first man-made wonder that I have ever seen that has been abused by the weather. And it's really- Damage maybe, the right, maybe the right words maybe damage. Yeah. yeah. It's really yeah, sad to hear video. that. Yeah. But as I said, gladly, we can still see it. So the, the statue of Athena is one of the most important ones. Because Athena was a pretty popular Greek god that has been in the overtimes. But sadly, every single Greek god wanted the Muslims to believe in the Greek gods except for the Muslims. The Greek gods have took over the candles in the Hanukkah. The Hanukkah was, is related to the Acropolis as well and what has happened during the, with the Greek gods and the Acropolis and Hanukkah. So I'll just tell you a pretty short story. So as I told you, the Greek gods wanted the Muslims to believe in the Greek gods such as Athena and Poseidon. Now the Greek gods wanted to take over the Muslims so they went in the synagogue, I'm pretty sure, and they stole their oils, their little cans of oils, but they didn't steal like those kind of candle things. Now the oil was used to light the candles and one oil can would be lit up for only one day. And Hanukkah is very popular by now because I'm 95% sure that it is celebrated on November or October. Now, as I was saying, the Muslims came back to the church on a Sunday and seen that all the oil was stolen. But they found one oil can. And they decided to share it with all eight candles on the chandelier, not chandelier, the candles. Then, two days later, they came back and they see that the candles is still shining. They mm -hmm. were amazed that it would happen because it was the first time that would ha that it ever happened. So yeah, this is just fun. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Like, as you say, like, comment, share, subscribe. It's pretty boring to say that, but I just hope. Thank you guys. Just to remind you. Thank you for watching this video. And uh, stay safe always. God bless everyone. I Bye. I hope you have learned something. Good Bye. night. Good day. Bye.